and welcome back to Fighting Irish Extra. I'm your host, Catherine Dudas, and I saw four different Miley Cyruses at a party this weekend. We start this edition of The Fix with a huge weekend by women's volleyball. On Friday, they upended Maryland in four sets. Four players totaled 10 or more kills in the contest. As a team, the Irish hit an impressive 312 in the contest. Sunday brought a five-set comeback victory over Pittsburgh. Junior Tony Lugue had 15 kills, while senior Nicole Smith added 12 kills and four blocks. This is the first time the Irish have swept an ACC weekend. They traveled to Syracuse this weekend. Cross Country left their mark at their first ever ACC championship. The men placed third out of 14, while the women finished fourth out of 15. Kelly Curran, Hannah Eckstein, Martin Grady, and Jeremy Ray took home all ACC honors. In a match that had major Atlantic Coast Conference implications, the number two Notre Dame men's soccer team came out the victor with a 3-1 triumph of number 12 Wake Forest on Saturday evening in front of nearly 4,000 spectators. Notre Dame is now tied for first in the ACC with Maryland. Evan Pankin, Vincent Sorelli, and Connor Kukota scored for the Irish, and Patrick Wall had seven saves. The Irish travel to East Lansing to take on Michigan State on Tuesday, but are back in action on Friday at Alumni as they battle Pitt. That game is live on Watch ND starting at 7 p.m. Hockey split this weekend at Vermont. On Friday, the team dropped their Hockey East opener 2-1. Brian Russ scored the lone goal, but Notre Dame was able to respond in a big way Saturday with a 3-2 win. Sam Hur scored twice in a span of 62 seconds late in the third period to seal the victory. Senior Stephen Johns netted the first goal at the end of the first period. They have a huge weekend as they welcome hockey powerhouse Minnesota to South Bend. Puck drops at 8.05 on Friday. Women's soccer suffered a tough setback in the quarterfinals of the ACC tournament. They battled hard against fifth-ranked Virginia Tech but lost in double overtime 2-1. Forward Lauren Boaboy scored the lone goal for the Irish. The team will now wait for the NCAA tournament selections on November 11. Remember to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash fighting Irish. Follow us on Twitter at fighting Irish and follow us on Instagram at the fighting Irish. Thanks for watching The Fix. I'm Catherine Dudas and as in all things, go Irish.